they've got possibilities of uh, a Memela that's playing a little bit different now, playing more as a nine, but, but of course Memela's instincts are to find the spaces in the midfield. And close to the box where he loves scoring <coughs> goals. The little man, Ayende. In the absence of a target uh, striker, you they will look for creativity and it doesn't come better than Ayende. He'll be playing very closely to Zwan. Delivered a nil-nil draw. Amazulu and Richard Speck. Interesting to see how Chipper go about their business. Um, onto them. And they've won the ball well, temporarily. Now there could be problems because here comes Tembazwani now. Ayende in the middle. Ayende. The Sibanku will try to keep this alive. And never so well. Zwani leaves the ball behind. Danger not gone yet. Mosele intervenes. Now the chance to fire a shot in! There of Mabali. Moselle looks as if he's good to go. I wonder but how long he will last. Uh -uh. He's uh, literally. Yeah. Against Mukwena in that midfield. That is an interesting battle that I would love to see. Ayende. Here is Ayende again. Out swinging again. This time. Gonna have to find a way out of the hole they're in at the moment. Let's see what Lisibanku can. Just a bit. It was a bit of a surprise that day he was even allowed to play against Pirates. Let's have a look at this. I want to next season. Okay. So now, Ibero, Zwani waiting in the middle. Oh no! Disaster! Justice Chabalala! Oh, his body shape was all wrong there! Third Sundowns versus Arrows. We saw that they started the game playing a lot of outstringing uh, set. Yeah. A little bit of a buzz around the stadium here. Uh, we haven't seen a match of Chipa in this part of the field. 20 minutes gone. Well, they'll be happy. And Sundowns did it in the 2010-2011 Solo Kwani City. Jeez, poor guy will never lift that one down. Where are the Chiefs in the 2014-15 season? That's Mosele, goes down Mosele. The Sundowns win possession back. They're just a team that constantly flirts with that relegation zone. In fact, they don't flirt with it, they kind of live there. Mayema has done well here of the well, With Tempas one here, I think we're going to expect that we'll see him in about an hour and just over about 70 minutes. Um, they're gonna have to manage him manage him also manage the squad six gears minimum now. keep in position you allow them to do that you allow them to stretch you they're going to hurt you some more one thing that mamilor standards has done now is drop kutie who goes from yeah. entering us against golden arrows And it comes in from my end uh, at the back post here. Is, uh, oh, oh Tembazwani looking to side foot it into the net. Nearly identical to the goal they score against our didn't last too long for Dane Clayt after that. Ayende once again. As we hit the hour mark, Ayende again. Going again to the back post there. Closer to him to try and join the likes of Libito. He's a target man and out and out number nine that that uh, and, uh, Junior Mendieta as I mentioned with Allende. I think he's the no. the way they are playing. So if you talk the point I want to make a point about him in a moment I'll get to that is then initiating the play that is good man was telling. That is the difference when he uh, of the season. So the unbeaten run will come to an end. Look at where Mudiba is, uh, Titi. He's, he's central. Mudiba is the amount of opportunities that he has received. Uh, that is Ribeiro up top. And it's Ayende, of course.
What a shift Allende put in.